please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video, racing the road less traveled. There's a bit of a pun in that. After our first video in this series about should you go racing, Dave takes a bit of a deeper dive, assuming that you're gonna go racing. What kind of mindset do you have to go racing? That will determine how you approach things like bike prep. We're not talking safety wiring here, but creating a racing machine, maintaining it, servicing it, making sure it's the most perfect weapon. Of course, included in that is bike setup. Tires, which tires should you choose? Pressures, when should you monitor them? How much? Learning the tracks. You've probably done track days and think you know the tracks. There's another level to it. How you approach these aspects of racing are determined by your mindset. Which road will you travel? Here's a preview. Now let's go slightly off topic because part of the pondering here, and this is definitely the path less traveled, your sense of self. You probably go, what? As we talked about earlier in the introduction, are you right-brained or are you left-brained? Are you egotistical? And this isn't a bad thing. This is just the self-assessment piece at the next level. And this is what very few people do. I race at the club level here in the state of California with the oldest club in the US, which is arguably one of the toughest clubs in the country to win at. Before I started racing with this club, and one of my first races was 84 bikes in a one wave start in the 600 class at Sonoma Raceway at Sears Point. I've ridden at nationals, I've raced a TZ250. I thoroughly enjoyed the experience and did reasonably well. Everybody's faster than you. And that's the connection you make because they're racing at national level. When you get there, you realize that's not true. There are a bunch of races there that are fast enough and have qualified through points to get the national license to compete. I go at it from a learning perspective. There are certain parameters where you can't leave the bike where it is, especially when you're going there for the first time and you're dropping a bunch of time quickly because faster riders are towing you around and you're getting quicker because you're learning the track. Will your bike set up help you advance? You can't rely on other riders, locals, to drag you around all the time and take what they're doing and just do that. Do you have this information stored that you know because you're shooting track temperature with an infrared gun that you know exactly where you're at? I know that we're right on the cusp of being able to run a softer tire at this temperature. How do you figure that out? So I've got to use Fahrenheit because it's easier for me. Those are the three track temperatures I look at. You're going to use a fuel level. What do you choose? just enough? Well, how did you test that and figure out it's just enough? What if you get a black flag, you get pulled into grid and sent back out after three laps and you get a full race restart? Do you want a Kleenex? Cause you're not gonna finish the race. You're gonna run out of fuel. I race with a fuel tank that is 100% full to the brim. So many of you are laughing, scoffing, and doing other negative things, I'm sure. Path less traveled in this regard, bike preparation and self-preparation. Are you willing to go to these lengths to put yourself in a position to compete? Catch the full video at davemostuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email. Dave at DaveMossTuning.com